What is good, y'all? Uh, it's your boy Lean Man back with another video. And today, July 10th, Monday, 5:03 p.m. Dang, I can't believe it. Yeah. We really just hit 200 subscribers. Yes, sir. Bro, we finally did it, y'all. We finally did it. We hit 200 subs, man. I can't believe it, bro. I remember. I remember. I, I used to post Fortnite and 2K videos on the channel. And I deleted all of those. And then in last August... I remember I was on summer break and I was watching Curly Nat videos every single day, all night. Like, all night until like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning when the sun came up. I stayed up all night just watching Curly Nat videos and I Am Reno videos and Grey Fang videos and just watching those every single day, all day. But I mostly watched Curly Nat. Like, he was my ex, he was my, he was the one that inspired me to start doing Shinobi Striker content on YouTube. But I said, I just did a whole live stream about me hitting 200 subs, but I really didn't get to really talk to y'all how I really wanted to because I was so focused on playing the game and talking to their chat at the same time. So, I really just wanted to make this video so I could talk to y'all about it. But trust me, I got more Naruto Storm 2 gameplay coming out tomorrow, so this is going to be dropping today. That's dropping tomorrow. But, I was just watching his videos like every single day, all day. Still do to this day. And I was just, like, just grinding all the way. I watched every video on his channel. All of them. Over and over again. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make Shinobu Shaker videos. And this is after the Tamari DLC came out. Like, not too long after. So the Tamari DLC just dropped. And, like, when I seen it, I was seeing people do videos on DLCs. And then they own builds. So I did the Tamari DLC video first. Which, if I do go... All the way down and scroll down. That's my first video on my channel. Is the Tamari DLC uh, video. Then after that, I just posted builds, like random builds. Like these builds might not even been good. Some of them I probably didn't even make. I saying I'm saying it's not like I was really that good at Shinobi Shaker. Like I wasn't a comp player, so like I knew I wasn't gonna be winning a lot and I wasn't gonna be getting a lot of kills. I just was doing it to have fun. So then. I started making builds, and I didn't think that my videos really was going to get that many subscribers, because I thought you really had to be good, like, winning, getting first place all the time, in the pit, and all that, and just winning all all your quick matches and all that, and I wasn't really all that good before that, like, I used to be in the survival exercise, just fighting against the CPU moderator and all that, getting the dubs in there, like, I just was in there all the time, so, that I went from that to actually fighting against real people, it was like, at first I was losing a lot. Then I dropped my second video, which was my best range of build video, where I had a thousand views. I had a thousand views on that, that was insane. But that was not the first video I had a thousand views on. That came, this one came after, like this, I just got this one to a thousand views. Then I posted a Siege, uh, the Toe Siege video, then the Only Rasengan video, then the Renegon video, then Multiverse, then I started using new Ninja Tools, and I played Baruto's Tale, which is coming back. I know it's been 10 months, but it's coming back. Trust me, it's going to be here soon. I'm playing a lot of other games besides Shinobu Checker right now. I say then I started making random defense builds and range and attack and healer builds and all that type of stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I say, so, because I've been doing this for 11 months now. But I say, like, I just was having fun, and I was getting a lot of views while doing it. And my subscribers went up. Because I was at like 97 when I started the channel. When I deleted all the... But I was already at 97 from the other videos I made. And then I deleted all those videos to do the Shinobi Striker content. Which now I'm trying to transition from just Shinobi Striker content to other Naruto content. To then just all types of content. So like anime and Naruto stuff obviously. Because that's what started my channel. To then other games like scary games and other stuff like that. But that's not for a while. Because I still love Shinobi Striker. I say that's pr most likely gonna come when Shinobu Shaker completely dies off and nobody's playing the game. They're not dropping no new DLCs. But that's not for a while. But I was just playing and then 
I was getting more subs and I went to like 111, 128, 137. Then like, I just kept getting higher and higher and I hit 160. Then I was at 173. Then I got all the way up to like 184. Once I hit 184, I knew I was already close to 200. So I was like, this is insane. So I, would, I just kept posting videos. I kept my head down, I kept grinding. We did Karma Week, which was so fun. Like, I low-key want to do another Karma Week, but it was hard, but it was fun. I say, I kept on putting out new videos on new DLC. So after Tamari, we did Konohamaru. Then after Konohamaru, who do we have? We had Baramo Naruto, then we had Ishiki. But I say, we had a lot of new DLCs that I did have videos on. There's a couple ones I missed, like I missed the Minnesota DLC. I did drop a video on that one, but I was late. But I say you got the Obito DLC, which I put out a video 10 days ago about that one. So like, we did have some, we did have some fun times over this last year. Well, about to be a year. I had fun at least. But I say, and, but I say, my little brother came knocking at my door. I opened my door. He was like, yo, guess what? And he was like, I was like, what? He showed me his phone and I was at 195. I just said yesterday that I was going to live stream when I hit 200 subs. So I was like, all right, when I hit 200, I'll live stream it then. Well, when I'm about to. And I was still at 184 yesterday. Then I posted the video. Uh, I left out the house. I came back home. And boom, I'm at 185. So I had to hurry up. That, that stream might have started off rough because I had to hurry up. I had to set everything up, try to get everything ready. It was, it was hard, I ain't gonna lie, it was tough. I had to hurry up and try to put it all together. Then we hit the 200, and I looked at my phone and said 200 subs. It was crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect myself to hit 200, and it's been less than a year of me doing this YouTube stuff. Especially how the year started off so rocky in 2023, like me having to move out of two different houses. I was moving my setup all over the place, so I wasn't able to upload videos for months at one point. But I say it really did. It got it set it off rough, but we on the right track. We're uploading videos consistently. We're live streaming. We just hit a big 200 milestone. We got a lot more to go though. Like we still got to hit a thousand. But first, we still got to hit 300, 400, 500, all of that. So I'm happy for all y'all that's sticking with me and going through this tough, this tough journey with me all through 2023. But I say I do love each and every single one of y'all, obviously. Which I say at the end of every single video, just so y'all know how much I really care about all y'all, like all 200 of y'all. So, just that the fact that we went from 97 and posting the Tamari DLC 11 months ago to being at 200 and then we're posting videos about the new Tentail Obito is insane. I'm playing all types of different games and all the support and feedback, and then me talking to. Me learning and talking and making more friends in the Shinobisha community like Clover1x. Go subscribe to him. Amazing YouTube. He's about to hit 3,000. I'm going to put his link down below in the comments because he's about to hit 3K. And Clover, really nice dude, bro. I was already I was nervous to text him so I could ask him how to edit my videos and start making videos better and stuff. And he taught me a lot of things. Like It was a lot. He did not hold back at all. So, for real, shout out to Clover. But I say make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Really cool dude, bro. Makes amazing content. Amazing videos. But I say, yeah, can't forget about my dog, Tommy San. His will be in, uh, his uh, link will be in, uh, in the description below, too. Another really cool person I met. He was actually just inside the stream when I hit 200. Cool people. But I say, so, I made more friends. I made new friends. I got a bunch of subscribers now. I got 200 subs. All people I really care about, so. And y'all apparently care about me since y'all are subscribing, so. I just wanted to let y'all know that I love each and every single one of y'all. We're going to be grinding all throughout 2023 and 2024 and for the rest of my life, hopefully. I was like, I really want to do this YouTube stuff. So I just want to thank each and every single one of y'all for helping me out and getting me to this point. Thank y'all for 200 subscribers. The big 300 is on the way. I love each and every single one of y'all. If I did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.